Hey all my friends, I am here to give you your next art lesson. Um, I'm trying to do this every week for you since you would have art once a week. This week we're going to do a weaving project. I know you guys are all doing your e-learning or your packets and I hope you're reading every day and practicing your math facts and those are the things that are super super important for you to do every day and I hope you're enjoying doing them with your families at home to school. You know we all miss you and I am no exception. I miss all of my students. I've got lots of you guys and hopefully um, you've been doing lots of arts and crafts with your family and hopefully you've been doing laundry and dishes and cooking and playing outside and doing all those things that are important to do too that we finally have time for. So um, in case you have some extra time, oh, hi puppy, in case you have some time and you want to do an art project, I have another one ready for you. And it's something that you can do at home with stuff that you have at home. And if you have like plain paper, that's all you need and a pair of scissors. If you don't have plain paper, and some of you might not, um, you can do this with any paper that you have at home. For example, I got this in the mail this week. And I've already read it, so I am going to tear some pages out. Don't do that unless you ask your parents if they're all finished with stuff. But you can do it with junk mail. The one that I'm going to show you as my example, I did it with an advertisement from a local store. Um, and I'm not going out. I'm staying home like the rest of you. So I don't need those coupons right now. So I just cut apart some coupons. So you can do this with any paper. You can actually do this with fabric. You can do it with all sorts of stuff. But talk to your parents about that before you cut up anything, okay? Um, all right, so what we're going to do is we're, like I said, we're going to do a paper weaving. And if you've had me in class, which you probably have, um, you know that I love to weave. I weave all the time with all sorts of stuff. And I weave with cloth a lot. But today we're going to do a paper weaving. So what you need is two pieces of paper, whether it be mail or junk mail or like things that you've ripped out of magazines like these kinds of things or regular paper no matter what you can use whatever you want to use but you have to use two pieces of paper all right what you're going to do with your first piece of paper is take it and fold it in half you guys if you've had me in class you know this is hamburger style and this is hot dog style okay we're going to fold hamburger style. So fold that. You're going to put the two corners together and push down the edge. So like this, so it makes kind of like a card. Okay. And then what you're going to do is we're going to create a loom with this. And a loom is what you weave into to make a weaving. Okay. So what we're going to do to make this easy is we're going to Okay, so there's an open edge and a folded edge. Okay, you're going to start cutting on the folded edge. And you're going to cut it in half. Okay, do you see how I'm cutting that? But when you get about there, do you see how far that is from the edge? Stop. Don't cut anymore. Because you don't want to cut them apart. You want them to be connected still. Does that make sense? All right, so there's that. And then you're going to cut each of those halves in half. And if you're doing your math, you might know that when I cut something in half, it makes two. And then when I cut it in half again, it makes four, and that's called quarters. Okay, then you're going to cut each of those quarters in half again. And that's going to make eight pieces, which in math we call eighths. So I'm going to cut that. Do you see how I'm cutting each of those sections? And you guys make close like pay close attention you don't want to cut them off you want to stop before you cut it apart okay so do you guys see what I mean it's kind of making a hula skirt okay first graders we did something similar to this earlier in the year this year and pretty much everyone if you've had me in art class we've done something kind of similar to this making a loom all right once you have it in eighths, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then you can open it up and you can see all these little strips, but they're still connected at the top and still connected at the bottom. If you accidentally cut them apart, hopefully you have some tape or something that you can stick them back together or get another piece of paper and try it again. All right, so, all right, you guys, there's my loom. 
and I have eight sections, remember, because I just cut it into eighths. Okay, the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to take our other paper and we're going to cut it. So let me flip my camera around so I can show you how to do that. So the next thing we're going to do is take our other piece of paper. This one's yellow. I had the other, the first one pink. Um, but like I said, you can do this with anything. And you're going to turn it this way, which is called landscape. Hopefully you know that word because we, we practice that almost every single year. We talk about landscape and portrait. But now we're going to hold it landscape and we're going to cut across the long way of the paper, the landscape way. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut it in half landscape wise like this. Okay, so I'm going to turn it this way and see how I'm cutting long ways. You guys, it's if you mess it up, you can still work with it, but it makes it so much easier. So see how I cut it into two pieces. Now I'm going to take each of those pieces and cut it in half and hopefully you remember when you have two pieces and you cut them into two more pieces and you have four pieces you would call that quarters okay. all right so I have my four pieces now I'm gonna cut those four pieces into four more pieces like strips like this I'm gonna cut my next one I'm gonna cut forward in the video um, because I feel like you can probably figure that out and your parents are probably there to help you so you have then you'll have eight pieces all right okay so I have eight pieces if you are um, maybe an older kid and you want to make your weaving a little bit more complex you can turn sorry you can turn those eight pieces into 16 pieces by cutting each one, and that would be sixteenths. So um, you can make this as many as you want. So the next part is we're gonna take one strip and you're going to weave it into your loom, okay? You're gonna go under, over, under, over. Do you see what I mean by under and over? I'm going over this strip and I'm going under the next strip, over that strip, under, and I pull it across so that it's kind of like even and I push it up as high as I can. Okay. And then you're going to take your second strip and you're going to go the opposite. So on this first one, I went under, over, under, over. On the second strip, I have to do the exact opposite. So I'm going to go over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. Do you see how that works? And it's starting to look like a checkerboard. Okay, then you're gonna take your third strip and you're gonna do the opposite again, which is instead of over, under, over, under, I'm gonna go under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over. Then I push it up right against the next one. And then I'm gonna take my fourth strip and do the opposite again. So I went under, over, under, over. Now I'm gonna go over, under, over, under. And I'm gonna keep doing that until I have all my strips used up or until I get to the bottom of my weaving. I'm gonna show you what happens if you make a mistake and how to tell that you made a mistake and how to fix it. So on this strip, I know that I need to go over, under, over, under, over, under, but if I accidentally get confused or I get distracted and I kind of mess up a little bit and I'm gonna go over, under, over. Now I know I need to go under, but I'm gonna go over it the next one because I wanna see the mistake and show you the mistake. <gasps> okay, do you see this doesn't look right, does it? I can tell it doesn't look right. And when I, when I look and I'm like, oh, that's not, that's not quite right. I have to kind of backtrack and I say, uh-oh, I went over, over. Okay, so I'm just going to pull my strip out to where I messed up and then go back and kind of fix it. Hopefully you catch it before you move on to the next strip because you don't want to have to pull two strips out. All right. Here's the finished product. Um, if you have glue or tape and you want to glue or tape these little end pieces down you can like lift that up and put a little put down a glue there or a little bit of tape on the other side 
Um, but really, it's pretty sturdy if you get all the way to the bottom. Um, and remember, you don't have to have fancy paper. You can do it with a magazine or with junk mail that you get in the mail. Also, you guys, if you want to um, cut the edges of the, um, the paper that you wove into it, uh, that might be kind of cool. You can do some creative things with the edges. You can draw little pictures on here. Oh my goodness, you can make drawings and then you could cut your drawings apart and weave them together, kind of like it would look like this, like two pictures put together. Um, you can do all sorts of stuff with this. That's it for today, you guys. I miss you all. I miss doing art projects together. I hope you're doing art projects with your families. I hope you're spending great time with your family. I hope you're staying safe. Wash those hands. Don't touch your face. Stay healthy. Take care of each other. And we'll be together soon. In the meantime, I'll see you again next week for another at-home art project.